Morning guys, uh, welcome back to the Angeles Forest. We are on the same road, the last and only time I drove a Porsche 914. And uh, this is Marco, thank you for joining me. Yep. Uh, a man having who, me. As, I've, as I've learned this morning, is of great taste and great humor and, uh, and I'm happy to have you here. Uh, the last 914 I did was a 1.7. It was a extremely low mile, original car, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looked like it just rolled off the showroom floor. Um, but it didn't run right at this altitude and it was kind of a mess. Now this 914 has a whole other thing going on. So tell me about it. Uh, okay, so I built this car back in 1996, 97. Which you said you were in high school. I was time. in high school, yeah. yeah. I took this car to prom. I took yeah. my date to prom in this car, yeah. <laughs> was this your first car? This was my second car. My first okay. car was a 70 Beetle. Oh, okay. And so it was a, quite a departure. Right. Um, and then I had it for a few years, drove it every day. It was my commuter and I sold it. Uh, and then a few years ago, a guy called me and said, you want to buy it back? So I said, sure. It came back to me with no wheels, no seats, and no motor. <laughs> but it had the close ratio gearbox and uh -huh. all the 914 six sheet metal. So I stuck a 2.5 twin plug in it and put some wheels and seats in it. And, uh, so it, it started out as a 914.4? Correct. With the 1.7 or whatever? I think one? it was a two liter car okay. at one point. Yeah. So now it's a six. That's Correct. the point. So yeah, the modifications were all factory. Factory, right. oil, factory oil tank, sheet metal, cooler, everything. All so factory. it doesn't have the provenance or collective of a real 914 6 but the driving experience should be a good approximation of what you get it'll be better 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 it's got late model front suspension like Carrera front end oh cool it's got, it's got GT style rear brakes in it so they're vented rotors like it's it's a better. driver car okay it's great. a driver car well, close I'm, ratio gears I'm extremely excited well don't get I too excited to remind me dog leg first <laughs> yeah yeah dog leg so first. here we go we're gonna start by going down the hill we'll gravity drive it That fourth, fourth auto, I, yeah. I, my first shift. Okay. We'll start with the gravity drive. So, as I said in the last time I drove these cars, I developed an irrational hatred of the 914 kind of early. I always thought it looked flimsy. Yeah. But yeah. then I drove that one and realized it's actually not flimsy and it's kind of wonderful. They get flimsy when you take the top off. Uh huh. And you know, there's nothing holding the front back together. with this engine. It's a 2.5 yeah. six-cylinder. Correct. I, uh, I mean, I'm a Porsche mechanic, so, you know, I got some parts laying around. We consider this motor a four-corner motor because it came from four corners of the shop. Um, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's, we call that a global motor. Yeah, right. Bits of, bits of this, bits of that. So anyway, I put it together, um, and it spent a number of years in my 911. Um, I raced this motor with the POC for two years. I drove it across the country, um, and I haven't rebuilt it since. It's, it has, you know, probably 60,000 miles on it or so. It's a lot of those nice. on the racetrack. You know. Um, Your tack is the most imprecise tack I think I've ever seen. Oh, uh, it's pretty okay. It has about a 2,000 RPM variation. <laughs> only on the swing, only on the swing. When you're under load, it, it works, and that's what matters most, right? I mean, you can rev the nuts off this motor. I'm about to, yeah, once I have some room. That sounds nice. Still getting used to the brakes and stuff. Yeah, no problem. Forgive me. So you've had this car for 30 years almost. Huh? Almost. I mean, again, I, I let it go for a few years. Uh, it was seed money to build my 911, um, which I subsequently drove and sold. Porsche motors are typically uh, single plug, single single spark plug. When you raise the compression and you know you want to squeeze it a little bit, you want to be able to dial back the timing uh, and make it run more efficiently. So you add a second spark plug, so you get a full burn in the combustion chamber. That's the short story. The long story is it's more expensive. <laughs> it's a lot more expensive when someone says yeah. they have a twin plug. Well. the way it revs it's really really good motor yeah i mean again a lot of these parts have just been laying around so they're they're pretty used up uh, but one of the like pride porsche like uh one of the things i find 
the most fun about the car um, is that I have an original Morelli twin plug RSR distributor okay. that I have acquired over the years. And it's really cool that this old piece of technology is still running my car. Yeah. You know. Well, that's just something very special there, that engine. For a lot of years, it's done a lot of miles. Dog leg first. Dog leg first. The uh, let's try and go second. There's second. Nope. Is that fourth? That's fourth. I just I can't have a 914. Because I just, of that? I just can't have a 914. Okay. More for the rest of us. <laughs> I, every time I mess up that shift. But the chassis feels nice and sorted and balanced. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's not a race car, it's a street car. No, it's a street it's car, it's real fun though. You know, it, it has just enough uh, spring in the back. It has just enough front torsion bar, uh, no rear sway bar. Um, it's a canyon car. And, yeah. and it's also a commuter. You can drive this car every day. You know, it doesn't oh, run boy. high. This is what a normal speed looks like on this road. This <laughs> is not gonna work for me. I don't think it's going to work for them either. Uh, They're looking for a pullout. Oh, please use this turnout. No, no, no. No! No! Why do I flash? You, you can't. The headlights are no down. No flasher! <laughs> <laughs> well, we stopped. That's how that works. <laughs> yeah. don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have that kind of patience today. No, you just got to wait uh, it out. We'll wait it out. We'll be right back. The, what, the stock car? Uh, no, the white turbo. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Second! <laughs> you got it. I took your advice. Yeah. So to find second, you get it into the middle and then up against the detent and then forward. That's the move. But it feels like it has actual acceleration up the hill. Yeah, oh yeah, it's good power. You must have been mobbing in high school. <laughs> yeah. Well, in high school, it had a it had a single plug, high compression, 2.4 mechanical injection motor. So, similar but different. But yeah, this, this thing was fun. A lot of stories. I'm a fan, Marco. This thing rips. Right now it's on 16 16 inch wheels. It was a lot snappier on 
figure out this gearbox but wow what a world of difference six cylinders makes yeah, in one of these huh absolutely it's actually a pretty pretty quick little car yeah that feels we're good. going uphill too so yeah really... not bad not bad man and these things like temp doesn't move just always the same yeah. just romp on it all day right that's it thanks marco that's super cool You're 914 welcome. six one of these days i will figure out the gearbox in a 914 but until then third gear is pretty much all you need for this whole road that was awesome i really appreciate you're that. welcome thanks yeah. and uh you've got another car i do so we're gonna go drive that and we'll be back with another video for you of that uh shortly see ya <laughs> 